Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Razer Black Shark V2X gaming headset from Razer. This is actually a headset that has been on the market for a little while now and I've been meaning to get my hands on it. And honestly, just give you guys a review on this product. I think this potentially has to be my favorite gaming headset at the very moment and I gotta say, it it is quite impressive. So starting off with the Razer product, I actually unboxed the product a couple of days ago. I kind of started using it. I have some of the pieces here on the desk, as you can see. So this is actually the gaming headset. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty nice. I think the overall design is great. It, 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 it's, it's very similar in some way. Actually, if you take a closer look at it, it really resembles the, the headset that a lot of the staff members use in the Formula One. I'll have some pictures on screen so you guys can kind of understand the, the, the comparison I'm trying to make there. But the overall design of it is really, really nice. Nevertheless, I'm going to give you guys a quick uh, look on how they look on. So this is what they look like on your head. They are very, very lightweight, very, very comfortable. I think the, the cushioning here is great. Now, for a lot of you guys who have been wondering what kind of model is this is, I know there's a couple of other versions of the Black Shark. There's some premium ones. There's a Bluetooth version. There is also a version that's kind of in between this one. I think this is the most basic version in the whole model lineup. So very simple, very minimalistic. As per usual, you have the classic Razer branding. So you'll have the transparent logos. You have the Razer branding over the headband. And also on the side of each ear cuff, you have a very small black on black Razer logo. And obviously in true Razer fashion, you have hints of green. So in this, in this scenario, we have hints of green for the cables that is wiring through the whole headset. And obviously the auxiliary input that goes from the headphones themselves all the way into your source, whether that's your gaming PC, gaming device, whether it's a Nintendo Switch or honestly, <laughs> whatever you might be using these for. Now, before I get any further into the details of this headphones, because I think that's why most of you guys are here, I really wanted to focus on the headsets themselves and not on the unboxing. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly what's coming inside of the box. So at, this is actually the box that it came in. It's a very simple box, naturally in true razor fashion, green and black. You have the specifications of the product on the back. You have a quick overview of the product in front so yes it does have a microphone as you can see here i will get into that a little bit later on in the video but for the most part i think the main components that you're gonna find with the headsets are really on the front of the cover so it has 50 millimeter drivers it has hyper clear cardioid mic and it's discord certified which i think this is more of a recent kind of thing you know for gamers it's obviously a gaming headset razor is a gaming brand and for the most part i think that's about it it also has a 7.1 surround sound support so I think that's that can be very interesting for some people. So box out of the way, we'll put this on the side. All right, so inside of the box, as you can see, there is not much. I kind of kept everything just because I wanted to give you guys a bit of an overall overview of what was inside the box. I obviously used the headset for a little while. The headset come into this little pouch, very nice, pretty high quality, protects the whole body of the headset, which I think is self-explanatory. So that out of the way, we had these little, again, little pouches, one for the microphone on the side here. So the microphone was covered up and obviously the cables were all covered up. Now, one thing I do love about Razer products and their Razer headsets for the most part is that they give you this auxiliary extension, which I find very, very useful and very, very convenient, especially since if you take a closer look at the headset, if I put it on here, you can see that, you know, the cable itself is rather short. I mean, so now kind of putting that back down, there's also a very nice, almost like velvet feel kind of pouch to it. So this is to put the headset in. Say if you're traveling, you wanna bring these, maybe you use these as your daily headphones. You love them so much, you wanna carry them all over the place. Here you go, there you go, nice little pouch. Actually, that is really nice. That is really convenient. I did use the headsets for a little while, but I never really took the chance to put them inside the case. And I think this is really nice. Would you look at that? Hey, this is, this is nice. And then you just open it back up again, take out your headset. You know what? I rate that. I I must admit, I like that. So now kind of moving all of this stuff aside, we'll take a closer look at the gaming headset themselves. First things first, I think I, the one thing I really want to point out before I move any further, I, I need to let you guys know that I picked up these headsets on Amazon for only $49.99. I think that was the main main attraction towards this headset. For the most part, I didn't really need a new headset, but I saw these on Amazon and I think they were not on sale for the most part, but recently when I picked them up, they were $49.99. I, I, I have to keep it really honest with you and I have to say that for $49.99, it was almost like I couldn't hold myself from not buying them. I had to try these, I had to give them a chance and I have to admit that for $49.99, this might be the best headset on the market at the moment, especially for gaming. 
not only that let's start getting to the specifics of it sure the pricing is great 49.99 super affordable for a lot of people i think a lot of people don't necessarily always have you know a lot of money to to blow on for example a gaming headset but for the most part i think this is definitely going to be a crowd favorite so for the most part the design is very minimalistic hints of color here and there it's got the green cables it's got these little antennas on the side they're actually not functional it's just really a question of design here and the headband is very 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 sturdy it's got a good amount of stretch to it the ear cuffs you know they wrap around nice around the ears and i think the best feature about these headphones has to be the fact that you know they're noise canceling so as of, as of right now i'm speaking to you guys i can barely hear myself like i hear myself inside the headphones it's a little weird but I think that's really the best feature about these headphones, noise canceling, I gotta admit, for 50 bucks. Kind of moving along with the build quality, very very sturdy, it doesn't feel too cheap, so obviously the outside here is made out of plastic, so naturally for $50 on the outside you're getting a plastic shell, kind of the standard here, nothing too crazy about that, obviously the little antennas here that I was mentioning earlier are also plastic based. For the most part here, this is kind of like a, I think it might be leather. It feels really nice and soft. I don't know if it's genuine leather, it might be faux leather, but for the most part, I think that's not a big problem as long as it's comfortable. It's kind of my criteria. As long as the thing, as long as the thing, as long as the headset in this case is comfortable, I really can't complain any further than that. Now for the buttons on the actual headset, you have on the side, you have a mute button right here. This is to toggle the mute on and off for the actual microphone. You also have a volume notch here, which I think is very convenient. It's just a little nozzle and that you spin left and right for controlling the volume. The, I think one of the most appealing parts about this headphone is really that kind of classic microphone right here. It looks pretty nice. It's a very simple one. I think you can actually remove the little foam on top. So if that kind of gets in the way, you can always take it out. But that is obviously part of the headset. It's an integrated pop filter. All right, guys. So this is what the microphone on the headset sounds like. It's never going to be as good as a condenser microphone or any of those professional microphones. But I think for the most part, when you're playing online, when you're gaming, for example, say you're playing League of Legends and you're on Discord at the same time, I think it's going to get the job just fine. And I think in honest, in honest comparison to like any other headset, for example, the Razer Kraken I think this microphone does a really good job for the most part I think it's more than enough now naturally if you're gonna record videos with this microphone I would probably suggest you to get some more advanced gear but I mean honestly for gaming for the most part you really need a good hearing experience and the audio is really not that important as long as you're getting your message across all right guys so this is kind of like my gaming setup I know it's not super crazy I know it's not the most fancy one out there and it has a little bit of dust on it because I don't use it that much but every now and then I like to play video games and that honestly my time for playing video games has shrunken down so much over the time that's kind of the besides the point so right now what I want to show you guys is kind of like a little comparison to like the gaming headset and kind of show you how it works in a gaming setup how it works in comparison to like maybe my old headset so as you can see here this is the obviously the star of the show for today's video we're looking at the Razer Black Shark x v2 actually this is the second version overall guys i gotta be honest i don't want to be too biased but i think the design overall on these is a lot nicer i always loved the green cable for razor and i think this is like something so simple so unimportant but it honestly makes a huge difference for me personally so i really like this but if i kind of put that to the side here you can kind of see here i have my old razor kraken headset just kind of chilling this is this is kind of a more of a premium product in comparison to the Black Shark. It's a little more pricey. Now, I also got these ones on sale. I'll leave a link in the description down below, obviously, for you guys so you guys can check it out. But I think on the Razer, Razer website, they might actually be a little more pricier. All right, guys, so I opened up Razer's website really quickly here on the uh, computer. And if you take a close look here, the Razer Black Shark V2X. So the exact model that I have here today, guys, for you on review is of it's honestly going for $89.99, which is kind of a lot comparing. I got them for $49.99. I think obviously that's a, a benefit of having them on the Amazon. It's obviously sometimes you're going to get some products that are amazing deals on Amazon. So guys, for $49.99, I'm going to say I, I don't think you can get any better than that. There's also some other variants of this product. So if you can see here, there is a Razer Black Shark V2, which is $150. And I think that has a lot, a couple more features, better audio, you know, better drivers inside. And there's obviously the Black Shark V2 Pro, which is a fully wireless headset and it has a couple of extra features on it. I haven't had these for a long time. Naturally, I've only had them for like maybe what, a week and a half or so, but I've been using them every single time I've been gaming. And I gotta admit guys, I'm really, really happy 
this is I just grabbing them I don't know it's just it's the thing you know just grabbing the headset and putting them on it just feels right with these it just I, it makes me want to just like sit down and have like a gaming session you know what I mean so I think for the most part these are really like probably some of the best out there so I yeah, really roughly in comparison to like the Razer Kraken I know maybe some of you guys you already have these ones you're like wondering maybe maybe you're in the same situation that I am right now you have these ones you want to know if you're gonna upgrade to these ones is it worth it for the most part I think the upgrade isn't that much is not that necessary I think the Razer Kraken still do a really good job these also have some noise cancelling I don't think it's as good as these ones now honestly putting these back on my head are a little more comfortable the cushioning is a little bit better on these and I think for the most part, uh, I, I think I really understand why I loved picking these up in the first place. With this headset, you obviously have a couple of different perspectives. You have a braided cable, you have some functions here on the actual braided cable, which I used a lot. So this is definitely convenient. Now, not having it on this headset is going to be something that I'm going to have to adjust to. But for the most part, I think this is really a question of detail. And obviously with the Razer Krakens, you have the good old pull-out microphone, which is good for the most part kind of has the same auto audio quality so for the most part i think you're gonna get by just fine so what i'm gonna do here is i'm actually gonna jump into a game i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how they work in a game and kind of give you guys my perspective while i'm gaming i think that's maybe the best way to go around to go about it we're gonna jump into a game of league of legends i know maybe some of you guys are playing league of legends it's kind of like my default game i hop on there every now and then so let's switch over to the computer all right guys, so here we are, we're doing a gaming test, kind of setup review. Uh, this is really my, kind of my go-to setup. It's really simple, very basic at the moment. I jumped on a game of League here. I'm obviously not gonna show you guys the gameplay because there's no point in that. This is not a gaming channel, but for the most part, I really wanted to show you guys how these feel in action. And I wanna kind of show you guys how they work with like a Razer setup. So naturally you're gonna see me wearing these. I'm here in the game, I'm moving around. So for the most part, right now I'm playing the game. I have the the game audio in my headset and I it's very clear I hear everything perfectly fine I don't really hear myself I kind of do but it's a little bit in the background as it should be with every noise cancelling headphones for the most part here I don't have my microphone as I'm not chatting with anybody online but if you want to have the microphone down you can also always do that if you put it down here you know it doesn't really get in the way you can still see everything on the screen perfectly fine good setup here but I think I'm gonna try and see if I can work with the nozzle here yeah this is definitely a volume nozzle works perfectly fine it's actually really really nice so unfortunately due to some recent complications we have officially lost our host's attention hopefully this broadcast interruption won't be too long it should be only temporarily oh well what can you do we'll be back after this short intermission so yeah guys i think that's pretty much about it on the razer black shark x v2 pretty long name pretty sophisticated Maybe not, maybe for some people. I think for the most part, guys, this headset has to be maybe one of my absolute favorites at the very moment. Like I said, I have I compared it with the, with the Razer Kraken that I've been using for a little while. Now, naturally, the build quality on these ones is really good and they remain a very good headset. But for the most part, I think I'm gonna put these to the side. I think that these have really taken a new sweet spot on lineup and I think this is definitely an amazing product. And I was really surprised that they would give you this much for $49.99, but this is definitely the Amazon deal that I was able to snag. So if you guys wanna have a chance at this i will be putting the link in the description down below so you guys can also get a chance to pick these up for yourself and honestly enjoy some really nice gaming i also tried these on like my macbook and i tried to see if i could listen to some music and a, a bunch of other stuff and honestly they do sound really good for the most part i think it really has to do with the noise cancelling so i think the noise cancelling and the drivers inside do a really good job together and to give you like probably the the most the, the maximum optimized audio i guess for the most part but yeah i gotta say these are really amazing definitely a good look definitely an amazing product for the most part guys i'm really content let me know what you think of these Razer headsets let me know if you guys want to see more headphones review more gaming product reviews i i'm trying something new here i honestly want to know what you guys think i really wanted to get my hands on and review these for you guys so yeah let me know what you think in the comment section down below and as always take care i wish you the best of luck in everything you do and i will see you guys on the next one Peace.